Go for it, Good morning, everyone. We'd like to acknowledge that we are on the traditional lands of the Wachabolic, Jadwa, Jabajali, Mugai and Yapagol peoples. And we pay our respect to the elders both past and present. Hand over heart and say the oath with me. I will honour my country, Australia. I will respect my parents, teachers and all community members. I will obey school and community rules and do my best to learn at all times. Student of the Week awards are presented to students who have demonstrated one of our school values of respect, responsibility, excellence, honesty and tolerance. This week, the following students have demonstrated one of these values and will receive the Student of the Week award for their class. From Prep Schmidt, Jackson Taylor and Ro Riley Ross Robbins for showing the value of excellence. For both writing an amazing recount about the Halls Gap Zoo with lots of sounds and high frequency words. From Prep Briggs, Archie Peach, showing the value of responsibility for persisting with difficult tasks and working to the best of his ability. From One Dots at Hartridge, Tyson Offer, for showing excellence. For your fantastic attitude towards your learning. Great job, great job, Tyson. From Year One Bennett, Kay Sherrod, demonstrating the school value of excellence for being a kind and caring friend. Congratulations, Kay. Prep Time Closing Forum, Kelly Cunningham. Um, for excellence, for the hard working work and positive attitude towards all areas of the learning. From Year Two Richardson, William Barnett, for showing the value of excellence for his continued improvement in his writing. From Year Two Woolwork, Bryn Couch, showing the value of excellence for your wonderful attitude, manners, and great work. From Three Adams, Ava Parker, for showing excellence for stepping outside her comfort zone and writing an amazing narrative with lots of figurative language. From Year Three Nolan, Dominic Walton, demonstrating the school play of responsibility for being a supportive, encouraging, and motivating teammate when others were in need of Rosa Scarf. Also from Year 3 Nolan, Imogen Dunsmith, demonstrating the school value of excellence for engaging her audience with striking words, repetition and varied sentence lengths. Impressive, Imogen. One, two, Mrs. Sadie, the whole grade, value for excellence for being so, being so well behaved on the excursion to Waterville. One, two, Miss Ashton, all of one, two, Miss Ashton, value for excellence for being our, our excursion to Waterville. I think for Miss Dossett, Liam Robson, very for respect, continually using his manners towards teachers and students. Liam Robson, both for excellence for his fantastic efforts at Rose's Hill, for perseverance, encouragement towards your teammates, and cheerful attitude towards all activities was incredible. And Max Borsha, I don't know how you pronounce his name. Excellence for being a great role model for others. Displaying the leadership skills and always supporting his teammates at Rosie's. From Year 4 McGinniskin, Kale Hay, for showing the value of excellence, for writing a very creative narrative about the Yahoo. You remembered to include lots of details to engage the reader. It was very entertaining. Also from Year 4 McGinniskin, writer Arnell, showing the value of responsibility, for taking on all feedback in the classroom and making changes to his work to show his learning. Keep up the great work. From Year 4 Davies, Cade Sutherland, showing the value of excellence for making great reading progress. Also from Year 4 Davies, Zach Martin, showing the value of excellence for making time to help others during classroom tasks. Thanks for being a supportive member of the class. Keep it up. From 5 Vivian, William Hutchinson and Riley James for showing responsibility for always being a great help to the teacher when we visit the library. Great work. From Year 5 Werner, Isaac Gregor, demonstrating the school value of excellence for showing outstanding improvement in his reading this year. Paul Clark, Ms. Clark, Stevie Clark, very for responsibility for being a fantastic member of Junior School by always listening to her peers and helping decorate box during her <laughs> From Year 6 Adams, Bree Walker, showing the value of excellence. Bree is our student of the week for her ability to be independent and make choices without being influenced by others. Well done, Bree. 
From Year 6, Driscoll, J. Louie, showing the value of excellence for, make, for working hard to achieve some fantastic results in maths. Well done, J. From Science, Mrs. Bacon, Camden Pollock, for showing responsibility, for showing initiative and tidying up by tidying up other people's areas without needing to be asked. From Science, Mrs. Bond, Emmy Gregor, Ambrose Lukaswi, MLR Tui, Tui and Mercedes Bennett, demonstrating the school value of excellence for building <clears throat> fantastic basic vehicles in science. Class 6, Miss Emily, now by Pickering, value for excellence for being a great helper at Rose's Gap, always using his manners and for being a supportive friend. From PE, Addison Walter and Tracy Wu for showing the value of excellence, for being able to demonstrate good control and temperament when learning and, play, and playing tennis on mini courts. Back to you, Brock, for the last ones. All right. PE, Mrs. Clem Nash Clark for his excellent participation in PE. Art Mrs. Francis Michaela Reed for displaying excellent cutting skills in her paper bird collage. Chase Hole and Liam Robson for displaying excellent coloured pencil blending in their marine artwork. And Jazzy Cuffer for displaying very creative pattern work in her sunflower composition. Stevie Clark for excellence for participating in her saxophone and improving her playing skills. Well done, Stevie. And Lily Robson for excellence for learning the melody parts to Seven Nation Army and High Hope and learning them without notes written on. A fantastic effort. Well done, Lily. Congratulations to all of this week's Students of the Week. Well done to you all. Great to see some of those descriptive things that have been written about the things you have been doing at school. So well done to all of our Students of the Week. Uh, this week is an important one for our year fives because you guys who are on the screen at the moment, we need some new ones of you. We need some new school captains and vice captains. So um, year five people who are completing an expression of interest will be interviewed this week. And we wish all of those people who have been brave enough to put themselves out there and have a go, we wish them well. Um, and we hope lots of people have put themselves out there to have a go. So it's an important job and we want our... our uh, decision making to have to be tough. We want lots of people to present themselves really well to make us have to make a really tough decision, which means we'll get some good quality people leading our school. So good luck to all of you guys. Um, we've had a busy uh, week or two with all the excursions, roses, gaps out of the way. Well done to everyone around the organisation for that. And well done to all of you kids who have been to roses, gap participating so well. Uh, some of you got some nice warm weather to compete with as well, so well done for sticking at it with, with that little challenge as well. And who would have thought, Mr Kellett, but the year ones and twos had a great time in Warwick, Nabil of all places, but it's great to have um, a good trip away and lots of fun for our year ones and twos, so well done to all the people who organised everything there. There's other things still happening. We said we wanted to make Term 4 lots of fun for you. Um, year 5, 6, we've got a river walk planned, some RAS students will be going to the Matoa Pool before the end of the year. There's lots and lots of things happening. So we hope you are having lots of fun just being, just enjoying being at school and with your classmates and, and doing lots of learning as well. Uh, last week or the, possibly last week and a half, student voice survey has been completed by everyone this year. So it's the first time even the preppies did the student voice survey this year. And we've got all that information back and it's really important to us that we get that information um, we make decisions and make changes around the information that you guys share there. It allows us to know what we're doing well and we make sure we, we keep doing that. And if there's anything that comes through that makes us say, well, we need to change some things up, we talk about how we change things. So that information is really important. A couple of things that were written, which I thought I'd comment on, was around the WebEx assemblies, this sort of thing. Stop doing WebEx assemblies? Well, I would like to stop doing WebEx assemblies too. It's just what we have to do at the moment because of all the COVID restrictions. And I guess it's uh, important that people understand there's things that are happening at the moment and have happened this year, which are beyond our control. Um, but we certainly feel what you're saying. We understand what you're saying, um, but we can't change some of those things. But it's nice for us to get a bit of an idea for what people are thinking out there. So 
So thank you. We also did the attitude to school survey last week with all the fours to sixes. Um, so that information will be interesting when we get it back as well. Thanks, guys. Mr. Keller, have you got anything um, to add? Can you hear me, Mr. Walter? All good. Yep. Beautiful. I've had a few technical difficulties this morning. I think our network's running a little bit slow, but I'll hopefully get through. I've got something planned. We'll see if it works. I just wanted to update everybody at the very end with what's happening with the new building here at Raz and wanted to share a couple of photos that I've taken this morning, but I'll see how the, I'll save that to last just in case it doesn't work. Um, is, your, is your camera on, Mr. Keller? We can't see you. At the moment. My camera you. is on. Can hear you loud and clear, you're just not coming through on our screen. I don't know if the others have got you on their screen or not. Sorry, soldier on. Probably not a bad idea, Mr. Walter. I do need a haircut, so um, I'll, uh, I've probably got it off on purpose. No, just joking. So coming up, um, we've got the Parents and Friends Christmas raffle happening here at RAS, so stay tuned. Raffle tickets will start going home and some more information around the Parents and Friends Christmas raffle. Yes, Mr. Walter, they, the one twos had a wonderful time in Warwick Nabil, but unfortunately none of them could find my house. I asked them to go and look and see if they could find it, but um, no one found it, so I have to keep looking. Um, finally, as I mentioned, the, um, the RAS building is coming along nicely. We've got um, well, you, you've seen from the um, newsletter that the building got dropped in, but now they're sort of starting to um, make the rooms look a bit like their finished products. And I'll try and share my screen. Can you just let me know, Mr. Wilder, if anything comes yes. through? And I just want to show you some photos of what it looks like at the moment. Uh, something's coming through. Can we see that photo? No, it's not popping up on our screen. Our screen's changed as though you are sharing something, but it's just taking a while to come through. I can see you in the, your camera picture now at the top, but um, it may just take a moment. We'll just give it another few seconds. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. What should we be looking at? Um, it's the entrance way looking in from the actual old building to the new building. So. Um, been opened up so as people walk into the RAS buildings we can actually see what's happening in the in the brand new building but can you see that at all? I can't see that. Does any of the other classes give us a wave if it's on the old screen? What about Riley and Brock? Is it there? Mr. Yeah, yeah it looks like it's on the screen and the other guys it's just us. That's Beautiful. That. Oh, that's our right. entrance. You can probably see that there's a big cut in the ground just after the second blue door on the right um, and that shows you where the new building begins and the old building ends. So they've worked hard already at plastering the, the, the new building together. Um, we'll move on to another photo, I'll see if this was working. Yep, just come through for us now. As I've just moved on to try and get to another photo. Um, the next photo I've got is just about outside where it shows you where the building, the new building is connecting to the old brick building. Um, and also there's some work happening outside uh, where they've basically done, dug up all the old asphalt and they've laid a new gutter in on the ground and they're going to put some brand new asphalt there outside as well, which should be uh, make a nice play area for us. I'll go back start. Here's an example of uh, one of the new classrooms. It's just the front wall with the white border spot for the television. Um, very spacious rooms. And I'll go the other way, and there's our wonderful cupboards and the uh, distinctive uh, orange and red um, colours to pay respect to our um, Indigenous community and the part, and the, the part of our school that we're very, very proud of. So that's an example of one of the classrooms. I hope you can see this one because this picture is what got Mrs. Francis extremely excited. This is the, the new room at Raz. It's absolutely massive. Um, and even she was, was gobsmacked at how much space she's going to have. So really, really excited for that art room. And her storage room is absolutely massive as well. So lots and lots happening. There's um, more work to come, but that's a quick little update. And I hope that you were able to enjoy some of those pictures. So I'll stop sharing now, Mr. Walter, and um, that's about it for me, other, other than the fact that on Thursday we'll be holding our school captain uh, interview, so I'm excited to see the next emerging leaders at the Rasmussen campus. Back to you.
Thanks, Mr. Kellett. Can, can you still hear me all right? I can. Good. All right. We will soldier on. I will say that this is the first time WebEx has actually given us any grief for an assembly, which I find amazing. So it's worked pretty well. It's been a bit glitchy this morning, but fingers crossed the recording comes through all right. Okay. Thanks, Mr. Kellett. Thanks, guys. <laughs> any other announcements, teachers? Any announcements, students? Come right at the front, guys. Raised a total of ninety nine dollars and twenty five cents. Runners up were youth for Nikunskin with eighteen dollars thirty cents. Youth Week winners is six years dress code with forty two dollars. Remember to bring any spare change each Friday for a great cause and for your class to go in the running of a free Zoom Hello, on Wednesday, November 18th, we've decided to hold a 3-4 footy match. It will be held on the Sunnyside Oval at recess. Um, we will supply the whistles, bibs and footy, so all you need to do is arrive there at recess on the side closest to the cricket nets. Only the people that put their hands up to participate are allowed to play, but feel free to come and watch. Good luck and we hope you enjoy it. Real life for life. So five cent Friday at Rasmus for campus. Prep Saint Clima Colonel uh Mount Day collected was fifty cents. One two Miss Sadie, they collected the top thirty. One two Miss Ashman uh got whopping fifteen dollars and twenty five cents. Uh three four Miss Dodson and four five Miss Quail had nothing sadly. Five six Miss Hamilton had four dollars. And the total raised was twenty-one dollars and five cents. And the winning class is one two Miss Ashley. Thank you for joining us for today's assembly. Students, please follow your teachers' instructions. Assembly dismissed. <laughs> Thank you.